day nine, Genesis 25 to 27, Isaac, next generation. The lifestyle of Isaac of obeying God and yielding to his neighbors was the joy of God who gladly continued the promise of a blessing made to Abraham through him. First point, God's dream passes on from Abraham to Isaac. Abraham's faith is passed on to the next generation, Isaac. After Abraham's death, the genealogy of his sons, Isaac and Ishmael, are recorded. This shows that Abraham's death is not the end, but the start of a new beginning. As God promised, a nation was founded by Ishmael, and Abraham's faith was passed down through Isaac. As such, God's history unfolded with one man, Abraham, who founded a great nation and led them in faith, and furthermore became a channel of blessing to all nations as God had planned. Second point, when a problem occurred, Isaac did not try to solve it himself, but rather asked God and waited for a response. Although Isaac, like his father Abraham, had similar concerns about having descendants, Isaac did not look for alternatives, but rather waited for God to give him a solution. Isaac prayed to the Lord on behalf of his wife because she was childless. God heard Isaac's earnest prayer and so gave Rebekah twins. He told Isaac and Rebekah that the older will serve the younger. God forewarned them that Jacob would take Esau's birthright from him. This birthright became a problem between Esau and Jacob. However, Jacob, who ended up getting the birthright, was able to fulfill God's plan. Abraham had to wait 25 long years to hold Isaac in his arms. In that time, he looked for alternative methods to get an heir through Elijah of Damascus and Ishmael. Third point, Isaac experienced miracles through obeying God and showed true humility through sharing. What Isaac did on Mount Moriah was the ultimate action of obedience he showed to his father as well as to God the Creator. Isaac lived the rest of his life sharing and giving, which once again surprised the world. Like Abraham, Isaac also experienced famine in the land. After moving to the land of the Philistines, Isaac obeyed God by not moving to Egypt and began cultivating the land that was hit with the famine. Consequently, God allowed Isaac to reap 100 times the work he put in. Later, Jacob and Joseph also realized, like Isaac, that abundance and famine was the work of God. But this spurred jealousy in the people living there who ended up filling up Isaac's wells with mud. However, Isaac did not make trouble by moving elsewhere. But then other people started to fight over Isaac's wells. So Isaac gave the well to them and dug another well. This stopped all arguments. Isaac was indeed humble and meek and set an example to others as a man of God. Fourth point. From Abraham to Isaac versus Isaac to Jacob. When God gave Isaac and Rebekah twins, God clearly told them that the older would serve the younger. So what they should have done was to take this seriously and try to handle the situation as smoothly as possible. Instead, Isaac and Rebekah did according to their will and each had favorites. This eventually led to the twin brothers from being unable to live together in the same house and forced them to live separately as enemies for 20 years. Fifth point, a father's blessing becomes the future. In the Bible, we frequently come across fathers blessing their sons. Noah to Shem and Japheth, Isaac to Jacob, Jacob to his twelve sons, 
such blessings become the backbone of the future. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. And let me tell you how important this app is in a, in a biblical sense. There's this incredible passage in, in Numbers 12, verses 6 to 8, where Miriam and Aaron are fighting. All right, These are the sister of Moses and the brother of Moses. And they are insisting that God speaks to them, maybe as much as through their brother Moses. And, and they're, they're bickering and, and going bandering back and forth. And finally, God has enough of it. So he, he calls them into the tent of meeting. And this is what he says to them. Now, this is Numbers 12, 6 to 8. Listen to my words, Miriam and Aaron. When there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, reveal myself to them in visions. I speak to them in dreams. But this is not true of my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. With him I speak. The Hebrew here is pay El Pei. Pei is the 17th letter of the Hebrew alphabet and literally means mouth. In fact, the ancient character, the Hebrew character of Pei was the, 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 the outline of a mouth. So God is not appearing to Moses face to face. God is appearing and speaking to Moses, you ready? Mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? The Bible, do you get it? This is the first five books of the Bible, the Torah. We're seen as mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, the, the continuing of God's breath that was breathed initially into the first Adam. The breath of God brought us to life and made us human. And then the tree of life kept that breathing going. And then we're separated from, from that tree with the fall. And now we have, though, the Word of God and it comes to us mouth to mouth from the divine. It's these, but we need daily mouth to mouth inhalations. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. Well, the devil's tempting Jesus, Matthew 4 4. Remember this? Man shall not live by what? Right alone, but by what? Every word that proceeds how? From out of the mouth of God. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. The, the, the scripture was not given to us as a reading. It was given to us as a hearing. You didn't read the Bible. You heard it. Hebrew children didn't read and memorize the Torah. They heard it. And, and, and from the hearing of it, they memorized it, not from the reading of it. And so it is so important that we understand that faith comes by what? Hearing. And as this passage says in Numbers, that from the mouth to mouth, then Moses saw the form of God. So sound becomes sight. It, it is, the ears come first. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life. 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.